Season 1 and Wolves reached the FA Cup final only to lose on penalties. Season 3 and Wolves reached the FA Cup final only to lose on penalties. Season 4 and Wolves are in the Europa League final. Fill in the blank. What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the FM Reboot. It's episode number 47. It's indeed the season finale and oh my goodness, before we play the Europa League final, let me tell you what's been going on off camera in the space of 11 days with not a single game to be played. It wouldn't be the save without drama in the runs off camera. So in the Premier League, do you spot anything interesting in the Premier League right now? Well, if you don't, I'll point it out for you. Sixth is gone. Because Everton won the FA Cup. Yes, can you believe it? They beat Liverpool in a Merseyside derby at Wembley to win the FA Cup. So to join Southampton as a domestic cup winner that therefore qualifies for a European competition. The Saints won the Carabao Cup. They've got the Europa Conference League next year. Everton have got the Europa League, which means that Man City... Oh my goodness gracious me, I can't believe this, but that big Ruben Neves penalty on the final day has seen us qualify for the Europa League. I didn't think we needed to win the final day, but in the end we did. As for Leeds in the Europa Conference League final that was played yesterday, and unlike two years ago, they did not manage to win at Valencia, beating them by a goal to nil in Sevilla. I Honestly, I don't know what would have happened had Leeds won that, because as we know, the winners qualify for the Europa League. So would that have meant that fifth wouldn't have been good enough as well? I'm not entirely sure, but thankfully, we don't need to worry about it. So heading into the final, uh, as you can see, Real Sociedad's team, I've showed you a couple of times, it is fantastic. Mikel Ayazaba has unfortunately recovered from that injury and is fit to start. They only have the one player down. Xiao Pedro is unregistered, interestingly enough, but really, this is a this is an excellent Real Sociedad team. They've got Smith Rowe on loan. Uh, they've got the former Chelsea skipper, Asper Equator. Um, it's just look, it's just a great team. Yanis is still there, Zubel, you still there. It's a brilliant, brilliant Real Sociedad side. And I've got to be honest, I, I think we're slight underdogs for it. Based on the way we've ended the season, based on our final bottle, well, certainly last season and maybe in season one as well on penalties to Chelsea, I I think we're slight underdogs heading into the game. But this will be our team first European final of the save. And this is our lineup on the injury report right now. I've got to show you this as well. We've got two injuries in the run-up to the final. Ruben Neves went down with a pull calf muscle in training. He's done. His final game for the club was scoring the penalty that put us in the Europa League. Fair play. What a way to bow out for the man who, as we know, is joining Barcelona for a Doc's record fee of £143 million. What a way to bow out. As we know, Big Chris is down for the final, gutted. The Vault is down, not he was going to play anyway. Gibbs White is down. Jordao went down as well. He won't play today. The injuries we've had towards the end of the season has been a nightmare, but... Fitting it a save, this is our team, Europa League final against Sociedad. Come on, Wolves. 4-2-3-1, Patricia goal. But for his like Nuri, Eric, and it is going to be McTominay, preferred to the kid Miguel, alongside Brandon Williams as an ex-Manchester United trio, a part of the back four. Ward Prowse and Falls be through the middle. Jotter and Nato are on the wings, and Wendy supports Fabio Silva up top. One of which Bernelli, Miguel, Madison, K to Trey Ori Trincao, and Raul Jimenez is on the bench as well. First and only game, first ever year of... Oh, I got... I got oh. Can I even make up a 12-man bench? I mean, Samedo, I suppose, can now go on there. He's not really fit enough to play. Um, can I even make a 12-man bench here? I don't think I can, you know. <laughs> I'm going to have to put Jordao or Nevers with the injuries. Let's go with uh, let's go with Nevers there. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> We're scraping the bare bones just to get 12 men on the bench. It is the final game of the season. It's our first ever European final. It's Real Sociedad in the Europa League final. Come on, Wolves. You guys know, like, I'm really, um, like, everything's got to be in order for me, as you guys know. It goes goalkeeper, centre-half, full-back, centre-mid, uh, either attacking mid or, or winger and winger, and then striker as well. I, I, I want it to be, as I'm going to say to the boys here. Do you know what I'm going to say to the boys? The media have given you a lot of credit, ladies, so go out there and put on a worthy display. Um, that's a go-to team talk nowadays in FM, isn't it? But uh, I'm very accurate with the way I place things on the bench, but I, <laughs> this time I didn't even know if I'd be able to get 12 men on there. Anyway, first highlights falling inside the first two minutes. I believe we're in Armenia tonight. I can't remember now. But anyway, two minutes in. Don't even know where we're playing. But this is Sociedad in the Europa League final. All we need to know is that's a shocking pass by Buendia. And here come Sociedad. But what a tackle by you-know-who, Morton Forsby, who's on the ball as Smith Rowe has stayed down as well. We've got a man advantage. Can we take advantage? NATO, man of the season, shot blocked. Forsby wins it back. And our war prowess pass is deflected. This is like pinball football at the moment. It's silver. Rifles on towards goal. Good save. Still 0-0. 
check the body language of the players early. And as things stand, it's good. I'm going to encourage them from the sidelines. That's fired them up. And 15 minutes in, we've made the brightest start to the game here. It's still 0-0. But as we know, Sociedad's side, I'd say, is slightly better than ours. So taking nothing for granted despite an encouraging early 20 minutes. Here come the Spaniards. Zubamendi through to Adnan Yanazai, the Belgian. And the former Red Devil gets round one. Oh, Patricio. Oh, Patricio. Hang him up, son. It's time to retire. Rui Patricio in the first couple of seasons was just an absolute beast. But that is anything but beastie from Rui Patricio. That is a howler. He's, he's 35 years old now, I think. And he just hasn't been the same since the first two years. I've kept him in goal. I've kept him between the sticks. But I think now the game's just gone past him now. We're going to need a new goalkeeper in the summer, regardless of whether we're in the Europa League or the Champions League, as Sociedad scramble it clear. And we're still a goal down, despite a much better first half showing. Free kick. Wolves. Oh, he's brilliant. He's brilliant. He's so good. If you've got the money to bring this guy in, guys, I definitely recommend it if you're a top half Premier League team. The energy, the stamina, the technical ability, but his specialities, free kicks and corners. JWP in for the injured Ruben Neves puts us back on level terms with an absolute beauty, and we deserve it. You know what? We, we've been a much better team. We, we should be in front, not only tied courtesy of a glorious free kick. So at half-time, I'm going to put my hands on my hips. I trust the stance and say, it's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got left tonight. We deserve to win this match. Let's go do it. Oh, I can't take this match. It's going to go to penalties. I just know it. If we lose three straight finals on penalty shootouts, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. We've been a better team in the game. Statistically, our XG is being higher. Though Sociedad have made a better start to this second half. Nothing to play, uh, nothing to nothing to report in the second here though. 23 minutes to go and still tied at 1-1. Extra time is looming quickly. Our front three are all a bit tired out there. Jota, Buendia and Nato. So I think I might bring on some fresh legs and energy. Uh, where is that speedster? Adama Traore might be nervous, but calm those nerves down some. Because you're going to go down that left-hand side and run at those tired legs. 10 minutes to go. Can't believe this. First half was pretty decent. Second half, it's been nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. McTominay heads clear. Well done, Scott. Filling in at centre half tonight. And Buendia comes across the halfway line. He's beating his man. Oh, great save. Brilliant save. Buendia on the one on one. Silver's cross headed clear. What a storming run from the former Canary. But what a save. And Sociedad are taken into extra time. What a brilliant save. What a brilliant save that was. Buendia is just so good at times, but then he just he doesn't have the end product at times, you know? Oh, I can't believe it. It's going penalties, man. Like it's it's uh, we got another 30 minutes to play. We might as well do the shootout now. It's going penalties. Do I throw the water bottle? Absolutely not. But I will point my finger at all of my team and say, don't let this slip away from you now. We've been the better team and we need to show it. In extra time. I think I will make my second sub as well. Uh, NATO has been brilliant this year. I think I'm going to take him off. He's getting quite tired at there for Trincao. Some fresh legs and energy. Where is Trincao? There he is. Uh, for NATO. And as the extra time first half begins. I, I can see Sociedad nicking it. But penalties is probably more likely. Will it be neither? Will Wolves finally win something? Well, there's nothing to report so far. There's been nothing going on since the first half. Warbrow scored that beauty, and that's been it. Game's just completely died down. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We've got two more subs to make, but I don't know who to bring on. Do I think it's definitely going to penalty? So do I go for the, the best penalty takes we got? Do I bring on Ruben Neves? Do you know what we could do? Actually, oh, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to make a gamble here. I'm going to make a gamble. War prowse for Brandon, because Brandon can't play in the big games. He's too bloody nervous. And what I'm going to do is bring on, where is he? Where is Ruben Neves? Because I can just see penalties coming for Brandon Williams as War prowse will go play right back where he can operate at times. All right, second half to begin. Still got one sub to make. 15 minutes to go. Is, is there going to be a late winner or is it penalties? All right, that's going to do it. That is penalties. And I'm not going to make my final sub because I couldn't click on tactics. <laughs> No idea it matters. I didn't really want to make a sub. I was thinking maybe bring on Jimenez, but after Jimenez missed that penalty against Brentford last season, the FA Cup final, I don't want him taking penalties anymore. So here we go. 
And the, the last two finals, I haven't picked my penalty takers, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Silver's anxious, as is Traore. Everyone else is feeling positive. And I'm going to say to the boys here, I said these two in the last two finals, but this time I'm going to say, we've practiced penalties and training. We did it yesterday. You've got this. You've, you've got this, lads. I can't take this third straight final. Wait, wait, wait. Where's behind goal? There it is. There's behind goal, and Francisco, on loan from Barcelona, is going to take our first in the shootout. A little bit laggy today. And it's saved. I can't take this anymore. Well, Patricio needs to do something special if he's going to redeem himself after the howler in the first half. And that's not the start I wanted. It's fitting of the save, really. Like, you think of all the bad luck we've had to have three finals and lose them all on penalties. Oh, Fabio. I, 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 I'm not even going to watch anymore. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't. Oh, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe this. Three finals. Three shootouts. We've missed every single penalty. We've had some games that have sort of summed up the save. This is one of the most fitting. Zubamendi is going to give Real Sociedad the Europa League from 12 yards. And I... I mean, because I can't do anything about that. The wait goes on. Well, the saving grace is that because Valencia beat Leeds, we have guaranteed Europa League football. But um, we've blown our chance at the Champions League again. And we've blown our chance at silverware again. I mean, I'm sorry, but three straight finals. When has that ever happened? Three straight finals where we've been the better team. We've gone to penalties and we've lost it. Look at the fucking XG. Look at it. I don't want to play anymore. Unlucky boys. Would have been nice to win this trophy, but it wasn't to be. Neves is off to Barcelona. Our star man. Missed a penalty. I mean, he scored the penalty to give us Europa League football, and then he missed a, well, not really the decisive penalty, because we'd missed the previous two anyway. Not that it really matters. I mean, Fabio Silva's sent is so far wide of the post. I'm not even sure what goal he was aiming at, but... We, we did well to reach the final. We had some memorable games to get there. But... It's just a familiar feeling. Three finals in four years and we lost them all on penalties. I don't know what to say. Right, let's do the end of season review. I'm so gutted. I just want to win something. How was Brandon Williams deciding the season? I mean, he was all right, but surely Jota or Miguel, an absolute steal. Uh, Trincao on his fourth straight loan. How was it Brandon Williams? I mean, to be fair, it was a bloody cheap deal, but even so, once again, it's so weird to say this, but even though, like, we had a decent season, it doesn't feel that way, you know? Like, the board expects us to finish top half, and we got fifth. We only missed out on the Champions League in the final two games. I mean, it, once again, like, it's it's been, a, it's been a really, really decent season. The FA Cup, obviously, was a bit of a... A bit of a shame, but Europa League getting to the runners up, you know, going further than the board expects us to. Like it's been it's been a good season. It's just just like last season. Just like practically every season. It's just the way it's ended has been gutting. It was a successful season on the pitch. However, the club's finances haven't improved over the year. Well, why don't you wait a month or two, lads, when we get that 143 mil from Barcelona? Um God. Well, the fans player of the season was Silver. Don't uh, don't uh, dispute that at all. He was also a young player of the season. Again, Williams was the signing of the season. I guess I can understand that, to be fair. Goal of the season went to Buendia. That was his goal against Lille. By the way, that one goal of the season in the Premier League as well. That was amazing. And, uh, yeah, he was the top goal scorer of Silver. Buendia had the most assists. And Silver was sort the highest average rating as well. Yep, it was, again, a good season. Just the ending was gutting.
For the, for the third year in four, we go again. We we go again. I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. I'm not quitting this Wolves project. Absolutely not. I'm winning a fucking trophy before I end this project. I don't care what it is. At this point, I'll take the bloody Mickey Mouse Europa Conference League. At this point, I'll take... Actually, no, I wouldn't. I don't want it. Um, but I'm winning a trophy with this team, man. It's going to happen. It's going to happen at some point. I know it will. Season is finished now. It's time to focus on what we can achieve going forward. I think we finish in top half next year. He needs to come out pre-season with the same level of ambition. Uh, next year, I want us to reach the final like we did this year. They're also happy with that expectation as well. I won't make any promises. And that will do it for my end of season team meeting. I'm going to send the boys to the USA in the summer. And there we go. Look at that. There we go. Season's ended. When's the champ? Is that, is that on the weekend? Oh, there's our initial budgets. And there's the... Oh, look at that. More stadium expansion. Or is that is that the, the last one I planned that's going forward this... Is it? No, it's not. It's a new stadium expansion plan. So they've upped it from what was going to be 4,000 to 11,000. So an extra seven grand. That will take it to 41, just under 42 grand. It'll cost 39 million to do. Most of that coming from Ruben Neves... His transfer to Barcelona. He can have that corner named after him if he wants. The Ruben Neves corner. And, uh, okay. So the ground capacity will be temporarily reduced. So one of the stands will be closed. It'll take about four months to complete. So, yeah, end around October time. And we also had our training facilities downgraded. But as for our budgets, whoa. Okay, well, that was, that was too expected. The Ruben Neves sale will have all of that, plus an extra 70 mil to work with. 160 mil is the budget for the summer. Jesus. So Champions League final is Liverpool versus Atletico Madrid. Um, the English teams in this save have done so well. Liverpool won it last year. As we know, Chelsea and Spurs have both won the Europa Conference League. Uh, sorry, the Europa League. Leeds won the Europa League. And this is getting played tonight as well. So the Reds aiming to retain it. Be only one of two teams who have ever done that in history. Let's find out if they've done it or not against Atletico Madrid. Obviously, it doesn't matter because Liverpool finished in the top four. So it doesn't matter for any kind of qualification. And they did indeed. Liverpool won the Champions League to retain. That's their third in seven years. Sorry, six years even. And goodness gracious me. And, uh, and there we go. So the Liverpool Champions League winners, Everton FA Cup winners, Merseyside is happy. But as for Wolves, our wait for a trophy goes on. I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. But after three straight final defeats on penalties, it's hard not to be so bloody demoralised. Will we ever get the rubber to green? I'm not entirely sure. But that won't this episode of the FM Reboot and the season finale, guys. So a massive thank you for watching season four. I really hope you have enjoyed it. It was a season full of frustration, drama, twists and turns. I mean, basically every single season I've done in the save so far. But a fantastic season, which once again ended in heartbreak. But it's more motivation going forward to continue the project and believe, believe, keep the belief, keep the faith that one day we will come home with some silverware. Have a fantastic day, guys. Much love to you all, and I'll see you next time to the FM Reboot. And do you know what I'm going to do? I haven't done one in FM21 yet. I really enjoy making them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a special in-depth look at the save next. If you've never seen one of those episodes, you're more than welcome to skip it if you just want to continue the, uh, the, the series at a quicker pace. But I do recommend watching it. I basically show you all the things that go on behind the scenes uh, how things are looking across world football a more detailed look as I call it under the hood of the save definitely worth looking uh, definitely worth watching sorry it's a really interesting uh, look at the save so have a fantastic day guys much love to you all and I'll see you in the next episode which will be the special in-depth for the save after our first four seasons at Molyneux still about a trophy <laughs> very soon much love guys see you in the next episode